Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create. We're working on Chalbella Blooming, and this is page two. Um, we're going to do um, a simple card, so it's going to fold out so you can put uh, photos, two photos on the inside, one on the outside, and then we're going to use this as a fastener. So this is eight by six, eight by six, you're going to score it in half. First, let's go ahead and get this down. This function is so pretty. Okay, again, we're on page two. This is going to go right here, and what I'm looking for in the placement is even borders on these two sides, and I don't want to interfere too much with kind of what the, you know, the, the design that I want to preserve on this page. These two elements were fussy cut um, from collection packs. So there was two, I, I'm using two 8x8 eight eight packs, so I fussy cut one of these flowers, and then this is the array that goes around the violin from the second um, page that I had. Okay, let me think about this. Yeah, okay. So again, this is eight by six, eight by six. So this little feature will hold three, four or six photos. And then this piece, I'm going to offset slightly, so it's actually going to come out here. I don't want it totally on top. I think it looks too crowded, but I do want it to overlap a little bit. So I think I'm going to do something like this. And then we're just looking for symmetry. I think I like it a little bit up. So I am actually just going to use some glue here. Um, you can also put tape in here. And as you can see, because it is going to be floating off this element, I want I wanted to have a little something on the hinge. Okay. Top so I can see it. Good. We'll finish that in place. Okay, and now put a magnet here. And I'm going to cover the inside <clears throat> once I'm done placing the magnet. Okay, we can put that extra magnet. Look, it's hitting it. It is okay. I don't know why it, was, it didn't feel very sensitive to me, but it's there. Okay, so I've got a little bit more of this paper. Kind of, I would like to kind of use it. Okay. Do I have 
So, what I'm going to do is do some color blocking. So this actually turns out to be five inches. Ooh, that's hard, huh? That's hard to cover up. This is gonna make a better um, photo mount. I love the flowers, but you don't want too much competition for your photo. So this will make a nice frame for a three by five. <clears throat> okay, now we'll find um, a coordinating pattern. I think there's this green leaf. Oh, that, that works. What do you guys think? Try some other strips. This is it. This will unify it. Let's go ahead and put this down. starting to go down. That's pretty. I like this stripe a lot. It's in the 12 by 12 pattern pack. This is from the pattern pack as well. This is from the 8 by 8 and so it's background.
Yeah, I want to get my bit. I should have done this before I glued it down because then I have a completely flat surface. But say I love you. Is what it is now. And there's like a three and a half by five. So it kind of, you could do it a couple of different ways. You could do like three and a half by five. Um, but you definitely want to come in a little bit so you get a little bit of border. But you can make this a little bit smaller and have these two actually be where you put your journaling comments. Okay, now we've got this to hold everything together. I gotta double check my magnet placement. I think it's in the right place, but it sure seems to be. You know what? It could be that I have my magnet upside down. Hard enough. Okay, I'll check that offline. That is the end of page two. In a few minutes, we'll be back to work on page three.